Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. Today we are going to be doing a first impressions, get ready with me, playing with the Raw Beauty Christy X ColourPop collab. It's been all over the internet and I'm a little late to the game, but guys, do I have some thoughts. So, if you're interested in seeing me go from hot mess mom to catfish just keep on watching the raw beauty christy x color pop collection gorgeous just beautiful for fall today we are going to go some mokey baby some mokey so if you are ready to jump on in i'm impatient as you can tell Okay guys, so I'm back. I've primed my lid. I used a little bit of Revlon Candid. I'm, we are going to play around with this area in the palette today. We're going to hang out in these three colors here. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of puffball, just to kind of blend those smoky edges. And if you've never done a smoky eye, this is a really quick way to do a smoky eye. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Old Growth, and this is on a Morphe 505. It's a little detail. Okay, so we're just starting to define through the crease there. It's not anything too revolutionary. We're going to deepen it. I'm just kind of blending that outward up towards the brow bone. I'm going to go ahead and set that brush aside. 535 and we're going to go in with a little bit of Rainier. Again, just a little fluffy brush, and we're going to deepen that crease and kind of blow it out on top of our transition shade. A, this is a Sigma E25, just a little blending brush, and we're going to pick up some of this homegrown shade and deepen that crease just a little bit more. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that. That kind of bare spot, I'm going to try and fill that in. I had the same trouble on the other eye. Try dabbing instead. Okay, that seems to be helping. So we're going to go ahead and put a little more of Homegrown in there. All right. So we blend it out a little bit more. I want a little more depth before we go in with the darkest shade. We're going to use the Juvia's Place Gel Eyeliner. And we're going to take a flat packer brush, this that up, and we are going to coat the eyelid. Okay, now that we've done that, it looks crazy, but we will get to it. I promise it will look like this when we're done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a small packer brush. This is a It Cosmetics brush from an Ulta collection. We're going to hop back into the palette, and we're going to take this shade down here, Let It Rain, 
Now, I have noticed a lot of fallout with these shades. It's not a deal breaker for me, but fallout in the pan is real. But pigment is there. It is worth it. So I'm going to pack this all over the gel liner, and then we're going to blend it up. Okay, now that we've got that packed on, what we're going to do is take this same brush, no additional product, and we are going to start sweeping around the edges and slowly diffusing that black. On this outer corner, I need a little bit more blend, so I'm going to go in, back in one dip. Ooh, she was not playing with the pigmentation, baby. I'm going to go back in with our brown shades. We're going to go back in with Homegrown on that same fluffy brush. One more dip, and we're going to blend that out. The JS8. And we're going to pick up some of that chanterelle shade. And we're going to run it right around the outside. To the inner corner highlight. And we'll do the lower lash line. So for the inner corner highlight, I just took a little pencil brush. This is just a dual-ended brush. It came in a makeup palette. Picked up some of that gold. enough to give us a little bit of highlight. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the lower lash line which is repeating the shades that we did on top. I'm going to put them on bottom, clean up this mess here, and we will do, I will cut them back. What are my thoughts? How do I feel? So I've played in this once before. I kind of dabbled in this shade and that's what made me fall in love with it to be honest so it's kind of like a second impressions I did for the palette because let's face it this is gorgeous these colors are unbelievable unbelievable guys gorgeousness it's a beautiful fall palette if you look at it in the lighting there we've got green we've got blue We've got berry tones, we've got neutral transition shades, and we have a very beautiful dark shade. It's not necessarily matte. It does have little like gold and pink sparkles in it, but it still made a very beautiful dark smoky eye, guys. And I love Real Beauty Christie. She's a great YouTuber. She's a great content creator in general. And I've learned a lot from her, and I'm really proud of her for hitting those goals and doing what she wanted to do. She's killing the game with her collabs. This formula is amazing. Blendability is awesome. I had a, a, a problem with a little bit of patchiness in the corners. That could have been user error. Um, ColourPop shadows are always great. If you had a chance to pick it up, what do you think? If you didn't get a chance, are you going to pick it up? Let me know. Let's start a conversation. And guys, don't forget about the 100 subscriber giveaway. I have probably $300 worth of goodies going out in a gift box for one of you guys. Please, please, please spread the word. Share the videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. But that'll be it for today, guys. I'm feeling sassy so let me know in the comments do you like it would you wear it mm. like i said before finally done that's it for today guys i love you and i'll see you in the next one bye guys having a rough day
place your hand on your heart. You feel that? That's a titty.